Yes, a true superstar <laughs> was unmasked last night on The Masked Singer, Latoya Jackson. Good morning. Thank you so much for your time today. Good morning, you guys. How are you this morning? <laughs> we're, we're, we were blown away that um, you were revealed to be on the show and so excited, but we believe that you are just such a super fan of The Masked Singer. You said you would travel anywhere for it. That's funny because I love that show. It, to me, it's the best show on television. It's so much fun to do. You, you have no idea. And people always get me wrong, which is really funny. However, it's just such a family-style show. It, it, I'm sure you guys have watched it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love it. It's, it's something that's great for the grandmothers, the mothers, the children. And that's why I love just good, clean family fun. My favorite thing about your costume, though, because you were a burger gal, and by all reports, you are a vegetarian. Yeah, I am. It's a vegetarian burger. Ah. Really, I haven't had meat since I was how old? Fifteen. Wow. But I do. I do eat chicken. Oh, so you eat? But that's considered poultry. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right. Why, yeah. why no to the red meat? Is is it a uh, is it like a, a health reason or is it like a um, you know an animal reason? I just didn't want anything to do with it because I felt it wasn't healthy for you at the same time. You, you come from the most famous singing family in the world, and we're talking today about this study that's came about the the middle child syndrome. Have you heard of middle child syndrome? I, you know, I'm the middle child. Mm. That's why that's I'm great. asking you. Yeah, because <laughs> I was like, you're probably the most famous but, middle child. But I don't know exactly what the syndrome is. But they're saying that they're probably the most independent because they they don't have, I guess, that sibling connection as much. They're saying that they're the more likely to move out of home first. Oh, that's interesting. I think you could take it in so many different ways, to be quite frank with you. Mm -hmm. But I, I would say, yes, I am independent in a sense. However, um, anything can apply to anyone, to be quite frank with you. That's you right. guys don't have to be a middle. You can relate to some of whatever they're saying the symptoms are, being that or whatever. Mind you, you are so independent that your entire family didn't know that you were on The Masked Singer in Australia. have no clue. <laughs> I, when, when, when I get a contract and it says not to tell, I tell no one. My mother, no, I didn't tell my mother this time. I what? told her about the very first one. I, and she says, honey, you should do it. And so I did it. I wanted to ask you, LaToya, when I was in L.A., I did one of those celebrity tours Absolutely. where you go around to their houses, yeah. right? And they tell you, oh, this, this celebrity was watering their garden yesterday. And you're like, you just no. missed them. <laughs> but they took us past Michael's place and told us the, the story and, um, you know, kind of talked us through what happened the day that he passed. And I felt bad for doing that like and money yeah that that, that i i paid someone and, and we'd driven past there how do you feel as his sister when that kind of stuff goes on you know i uh, you're so used to this in la because every opportunity they get they will use it to exploit to make fun mm. and that's what they do and they know that the, the world that knows nothing about show business they admire this. They want to see where people and what people do and what took place, what happened. Are the stories exaggerated? I'm sure. I've never been on one of those tours. I have no idea what they're like. But people tell me that they're quite interesting. They give them a lot of feedback. And then there are people who say, a lot of it is not true, what they're yeah. telling you. Yeah, some right. of the people know. But, yeah, it is, it is touching. And I certainly would want to go on that and, and hear about him. And that way, because you try to forget those memories and and sort of relive something that's that's really wonderful to think about and all the wonderful times. I don't think you will be able to go on one of those tours, by the way. You might be a bit too famous to get on the bus. Oh, she could go on a hamburger. <laughs> in a hamburger. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. You said you've never been. I just, yeah, I think they might blow yeah. their mind when you hop on board. Well, you just want to get home. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, um, is there anything special that you and the family, you know, do each year to, to celebrate Michael? I know it must be a tough time, but... It's really sad because we get together, but not necessarily on that day. No. We get yeah. together and and we um we don't like to reminisce about it. It's so funny. My family is sad, so you don't put another person by mentioning it. Or, but that's the way it is with, with us. That's how we are. Everybody respects each other in that sense. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, what reality shows next for you? Because you've done quite a few. You've done Celebrity Apprentice as well, The Masked Singer, a few times. Yeah, I've done the last finger a few times in Celebrity Princess. But every time I do a reality show, I do it for a reason. Mm. I do it because I feel, for instance, 
Celebrity Apprentice, I needed to do that show to know how other people operate and how they they act out and the whole bit. And boy, did I get a, a, a rude and wild awakening when I did it because you can never know different personalities. And the person that was working with me at the time said, you know, you really don't know the world. You're in your <laughs> own bubble, your family. You need to know what the true world is like. If you work among these people and see how they really are, you would look at life differently and not through rose-colored glasses. However, um, I didn't know people were so cruel and <laughs> rude and step all over you to do whatever they, they want to, to lie on you and, and just make sure that they don't get fired by Trump. Yeah. See, that's right. Yes, Trump yeah. was You're the like, guy running the yeah, show. I want to go president. back to the bubble. Take me back to the bubble. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what was he What was he like? Who, who Donald? Yeah. yeah. Um, the same way he is today. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> the same way he is today. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you see what you get? Did you spend? You wouldn't have spent much, too much time with him, did you? No, he would just come to the boardroom, and he would do that. And then in the beginning, he would tell us our task in the morning, and the whole bit. But I've been knowing Trump for years and years. I he used to fly me to um, Atlantic City to sing Happy Birthday for my son a couple of times for him, and then I performed at his casino years and years ago. Mm. And so, yeah, then we, we've done lots of events together. Right, so you got, you guys know each other quite well. Do you still stay in touch? No, ever since he's become president, they've reached out to me several times, but sometimes you just don't like to get involved in politics. Yeah. yeah. We were noticing that when he was trying to get people to sing for his inauguration, wasn't it? Yeah. And no one wanted to reach out. Because you yeah. do, when Susie say yes to something like that, it becomes such a political statement. Yeah, yeah. So people that have reached out several times, but but sometimes I think it's good sometimes to stay away from politics. Everybody has a different view on it. Yeah. And sometimes we don't always agree, and it causes just disturbances among people. Even your friends sometimes. It's been a, an absolute pleasure speaking with you this morning. Um, you were amazing as the burger gal on uh, The Masked Singer. Great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Great speaking with you guys as well. you got to watch it tonight. It's a great show. We absolutely